Good day, everyone. Angelo Ramora here from Ohio Cashflow. I hope you're all well. Your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo. Guys, check this out. We've got another um, edition of our testimonial video series, and we're interviewing Jake Boland today. Okay, Jake is based out of West Virginia. He owns one property with Ohio Cashflow. He owns a multifamily complex in, in West Virginia, and he also has a car wash. Awesome guy, um, loves uh, uh, all mountain climbing stuff and, and freaking canoe and all of that river stuff. And, and you know, we've got a ton of that in Australia, um, but, um, uh, you know, we, we prefer the crocodiles and, and all of that. So anyway, Jake, how are you, mate? Doing great. How about you guys? Hey, not too bad. Or how about you? Yeah, not too Policy. bad. Not too bad, mate. A little bit under the weather. I'm not sure if, if, if you can tell, but my nose is blocked. My throat's a little bit sore. But as I said before we started recording, mate, I've got to be my energetic self, right? The people want to see the dingo all freaking energetic. So, mate, look, we've got um, uh, 10 questions here for you, okay? So just take as much time as you want in answering them. Not too long, of course. <laughs> no, but, um, you know, it's just a, it's a brief questionnaire. Um, uh, and um, you ready to get going? I've probably, I've probably already answered a lot of these questions because uh, you guys have referred people to, to me know. several times. And I... I, I try to be as thorough as possible with it as I can. I appreciate it, mate. And see, that's another reason why I'm doing these video testimonials. So when someone asks me for referrals, right, all I can do is like send them 10 links um, and say, here you go, guys. So, uh, mate, okay, the first question is, what made you want, in, what made you want to invest in turnkey real estate? Uh, I was listening to the Bigger Pockets podcast, and I heard the one, I can't, I don't know what number it was or anything like that. It was... It's, it's been a while back now, and I thought, you know what? That guy sounds pretty sharp, and I was looking to and make another investment. I had a car wash at the time, mm -hmm. and uh, I liked a lot of what you had to say and, and uh, made me feel comfortable reaching out and contacting you directly. So I just gave you a call and said, hey, what's going on? I'm interested in finding out more information, and uh, you were nice then. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, you were nice enough to answer my questions, and I was I was nervous about turnkey because, especially so far away. But your market is it's different than mine. I mean, we do have a, a university here, which is great, sure. but I would have to deal with all the university headaches that go along with uh, you know dealing with students and parties and not paying rent and things like yep. that. And I thought, why not give that headache to somebody else? Sure, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's what like. Uh, the car wash is something, and I've had that for several years, and it's every day. And um, I was hoping to get away from something that was every day. And uh, the way that you talked about it on Bigger Pockets made me think, hey, you know what? I'm going to give this a shot. Drove to Toledo and met with you guys. Uh, I looked at a couple of, of other places online, but you you all had a, a bigger present presence online, and that made me feel comfortable with Turnkey more than awesome. than any of the other places. So. That's the, the biggest thing is that I was, I'd met you through bigger pockets in a way. Yep. And uh, then I felt comfortable reaching out to you and then went up there and visited. Awesome, mate. Yeah, and no, it was great having you in town. You need to come and visit us again, eh? Yep. Um, mate, second one is what made you take the plunge? So, what was the determining factor in making you actually take the plunge? And you can't uh, say it's my good looks because everyone already knows that. It's got to be something. I, I would say it's my good looks. <laughs> that no one can, that you don't want to cheat a face like this. I've already <laughs> Mate, I think you and I have faces only our mothers could love, right? <laughs> um, so, what, what made me take the plunge is honestly meeting with you and uh, coming up and meeting with, with, with all of you guys. And uh, also, I talked to Mark, I think was his name, uh, from Great Britain. Yep. You gave me his contact number, and I called him, and he told me he had all of the same, the same uh, hang-ups that I did. You know, it's just, it's nervous. It makes you nervous investing sure. in something so far away. But he also told me that he had some properties in other places, and that your properties were the best, and gave you the biggest bang for so if So if, if Mark is watching... <laughs> Uh, he said your properties were best, but not just the properties, but the way you managed it and the way that you, if, if he had a question, you would contact him back immediately. Awesome. Uh, and you guys always got in touch with me lickety split. Like there was no no delay in text messaging back or emailing me or whatever. Um, so after talking with him, talking with you guys, um, I felt a lot more comfortable and, sure. and then 
I won't say it was a plunge. It was a long jump. You know, waited. It was, it was a long time before I actually got to get the property. Yep. But uh, that was not your fault. You guys did yep. everything that you could to, to help out. Sure. So, yeah, Thanks, just mate. the comfort level from talking to, to him and with you guys. Too good, mate. Love it. Love it. What were your biggest concerns before investing? And is it still a concern? Um, biggest concern was going to be that really the biggest concern with any of this thing, these things is um, are you going to be around? Like if I have a question, um, but when I was messaging with you, that, that really was my biggest thing is what happened, what if something happens? If there's a flood in the house or pipes burst or whatever, how, what's going to be the turnaround time yep. for you to get in touch with me? And, and you, again, the contact that I have with you really made me sure. feel a lot better about, about that. Well, you know, I don't it's, it's, it's something the, that I always tell everyone, sorry to interject there, but oh, communication I, is such a huge factor when it comes to investing from out of state and country. I mean, look, I always tell everyone, shit, we'll hit the fan, mate. It's real estate. It's a roller coaster of a ride, right? Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. But as long as we communicate promptly with you and you with us, we can weather any storm, mate, and we can eventually get on the right track. So it's huge. Communication is huge, man. I agree. And not just communic timely communication. Um, if, if there are people out there um, that are worried about that, I, you and, the, and your team, have always been good. Not just not just Angelo, because uh, um, when I text him, he texts back. But the other people on the team as well always is the with you know where's the money going to be deposited and answering sure. questions. Always been very timely. Awesome, mate. Awesome. What made you choose Ohio cash flow? Uh, uh. I can say your pretty face. <laughs> Well, I think I actually think you answered that one in, our, in the <laughs> yeah. first question, so we can just skip that one. Um, but thank you for the compliments. As I said, I didn't have time to put on any makeup, so um, I sometimes yeah. use foundation. Anyway, that's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> How would you describe the purchase slash investment process with a higher cash flow? Uh, all of that with you guys was great. Um, again, it was uh, there were some hangups with other things that were outside of my control, outside of your control. But with you guys, you can uh, say, any, mate, the lender was a pain in the ass. It was the le the lender was a pain <laughs> in the ass. I'll say but it if you do not want to they, say it, mate. They were and they're very, always a pain in the ass, and they always will be a pain in the ass. <laughs> and that's why we don't take on any investors yeah. that are looking at financing their first few purchases. So congratulations, mate. You made the cut. <laughs> I, I barely made the cut, just barely. Barely, dude. <laughs> they, they they were a huge pain in the ass. They uh, they basically made me do everything twice. Everything I did at the first time, and then they wanted to start over with a different person, and I had to go through all the hoops again, asking you guys for more paperwork, um, yep. more than was necessary. But we finally got the close, and here we are talking right. with, with the world. That's it. That's it. We've actually gone through the sim similar process, if not worse, a few on a few separate occasions. So we've completely eliminated working with any investor that is looking at financing the first few purchases, yeah. just because, mate. We as a company also want to recycle our funds from that particular yeah, deal yeah. quicker so we can commit those funds to another acquisition and meet the demand of another investor. So here we are, we've got someone making eight bucks an hour pushing paper, dragging their feet for two, four, six, eight weeks. I mean, we just figured that it wasn't sustainable for us. Um, and, and of course, the existing investors that we have on board like yourself, you've already proven that, that you're, you've taken the leap of faith with our company, you've performed on a transaction, I mean, we're more than happy to to you know go through that process again. But just the first the first few properties that any new investor is looking at purchasing, yeah. um, you know, we, we need it, we need it to be a cash purchase. So, also, mate, um, oh, dude, has everything been running smoothly since the purchase? Uh, to be honest, I I don't hear from him much because it's just where do you want me to put the money? <laughs> That's it, baby. And, Dominique will email me, and uh, I've tried to think. There was one issue. It's something that happened again at the bank, yeah. uh, and it wouldn't take my money. So she said, where do you want me to put it? Um, so she was trying to give me money, and the bank wouldn't take it. Yeah. Uh, but we got it worked out, and it's actually going into uh, to a different bank now. It's a lot. The process is a lot easier awesome. because it's just an electronic deposit. I, they don't need any more information than just the routing number. and. Yep. Bam, it's there. Yep. And we got our shit together too, by the way. So we've got this really sexy property management software. Yep. It's Buildium. Um, just press a few buttons and push, it goes straight into your account. So, mate, yep. your tenant's been awesome. 
um, no complaints. Um, she's literally uh, uh, put landscaping in front of the house and there's flowers there and stuff. It's just awesome, mate. So well done. Good stuff, dude. Um, here we go. This is, this is a trick question, okay? Not really, but it's a, it's, it's a great question because it's kind of, you know, uh, salesy. And everyone knows that I'm very sales orientated. Not really. <laughs> I'm, I'm content driven. I don't sell. Um, do you plan to purchase more investment properties? Are you comfortable purchasing again with a higher cash flow? It's pretty full on, isn't it, that question? Yeah, but it, it, it's a good question. <laughs> I do plan on purchasing more properties. Um, I, because of the process that we went through the last time, I wanted to at least wait a full year to where the bank, if, once the tax returns came out, they can see that it was a legitimate thing and there was no weird things going on. Uh, so yeah, after, and I'm trying to think, we didn't close until the beginning of this year or something like yep. that. Yep. So as soon as that whole process has gone through a year, I'll, I'll start looking more into it and, uh, I'll, I'll just send you a check, Done. right? Done. Done. <laughs> to my to my offshore account in the British Virgin Islands. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, it's not in Australia, right? <laughs> no, no. That's all. Well, that's too. That's trackable too easily. We need to send it somewhere where it can't be tracked. No, no. Uh, I, I, I really. Uh, as soon as we go through a year of, of kind of, not for me, but you know, for the banks or whoever uh, to see some tax returns or whatever they need sure. to see, um, I would definitely definitely do it again. Um, as a matter of fact, just to, just to interject sorry. there, we've got a good lender too now. We've got oh. a good lender that shouldn't be as much of a pain in the ass as the initial one. Okay. Gotcha. So, well, um, somebody asked me if I was going to purchase any properties here in Huntington. Yeah. And I don't know why I would. Um, sure. As a matter of fact, it would be probably be easier for me to sell the property that I have here and just go ahead and take the money and send it to you guys and let you all me. Yeah. We're waiting. <laughs> We're waiting. Because <laughs> it seems, I mean, uh, I've had to go in. And I already told you that, didn't I? I freaking yeah. told you that when you were here. Yeah. And and since then, I mean, I've had to do a lot of little things, nothing major at, sure. at the apartment uh, apartment building, but, um, you know, changer, air conditioner. I just, it's a hassle. Um, so it would be, yeah, be easier to let you guys handle that than, than myself. Plus, you're going to get better deals on air conditioners than I get. Oh, dude, we get, I mean, look, we're in, we're in Toledo, dude. It's a smaller, it's a smaller town, right? I mean, we can get everything dirt cheap. So awesome, yeah. dude. Hey, quick fire questions. Okay. You All ready? Right. Do we respond in a timely manner? Yes. Do you feel worried about us lying, cheating or stealing? No. Would you recommend us to fellow investors? Yes. Okay. You can calm down now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh. Okay, I'm calm now too. Can see, with the bald head, can you yeah, see the people yeah, sweat? Yeah, you should, you should have a little rag so you can just kind of tap it. <laughs> Love it, mate. Okay, overall, how has your experience been? Any final words? Um, I, I was apprehensive at first just because of what it is. I mean, you're investing with not just in a person, but you're also investing in a property. Um, so I was I was nervous in the beginning. I went up, and I, I live six hours away. I think is what it took me to get there. So I live close enough to drive up and make myself feel better. Yep. But now I could save people that trip. You don't need to fly in and see Angelo. Go out to some Mexican food if you want to. If you if you do want to, you want to fly or drive in, I would do it. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I was apprehensive at first. But I, after meeting with you guys, and now we've been doing this for six or eight months longer something like that i mean we've been talking since yeah before last, christmas yeah. of last yeah. year like yeah. sometime in november um so yeah apprehensive at first but no problems now man awesome mate now last question do you have any australian friends no i i do okay okay well i'll have to edit that <laughs> last question who is your favorite australian oh oh uh Angelo Ramora. Yeah, baby. The real That's estate me. Kingo. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, mate. Love it. Awesome, dude. That's pretty much it. All righty. Thank you. So, All guys, right. thank you so much for watching. Um, once again, Jake Boland, he's owned the property with a higher cash flow for around eight months' time now. Awesome dude, um, love him and um, great investor. You've heard what he's had to say there. So if you want more information about us and what we do, please go to www.ohiocashflow.com. 
okay? Send us a message. We're more than happy to help in any way. Follow us on social media. Um, if you want to be a part of a higher cash flow and buy one of our properties, check out the description in the video, okay? Um, you will find the link to our investor application form. Please fill it out and one of our friendly staff will be in contact with you. Guys, once again, thanks for watching. I'm Angelo Rumora, your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo. That's Jake Boland there. Thanks, mate. Have a great day. You too.